this is Julie and welcome to my channel. <laughs> today's video, I'm going to teach you how to use the transitional devices or the transitional phrases that we use commonly when we talk to other people or when we give some presentation or when we give a speech to our audience. So I will try to explain it as much as I can, but what I will do today is I will translate it in Tagalog. So it will be helpful to everybody. So let's start. First word is, however. So in Tagalog, it means subali. So, for instance, you did a great job today. However, you need to improve more on your speaking skills and on your pronunciation. Second one is, in other words, in Tagalog means sa madaling salita. For example, you can buy your own laptop, your own cell phone, and a house and lot. In other words, you are rich. So the third one is in spite of, despite, and although. So these three phrases have the same meaning. In Tagalog, it means sa kapila ng katotohanan na or kahit na. Okay. For example, we had a great time in spite of the rain. We had a great time despite the rain. We had a great time although it rained. Did you see the difference? So if you will use the phrase in spite of, it should be with the word of. But if you will use the word despite, you have to use it without the of after this word. So you can say in spite of the rain and despite the rain. Okay? So the fourth one is in addition to that, additionally, moreover, furthermore, also, Okay, plus, so in Tagalog it means nagdagpachan or something that you would like to add or give examples, give more information towards something. Okay, so that is the meaning of these phrases. So let's say for example, I studied English proficiency. In addition to that, I am currently working as an online English teacher. Next word, we have meanwhile in Tagalog, samantala. For example, my mother went shopping. Meanwhile, I cleaned the house. The next is because of that and for that reason. In Tagalog, dahil dyan. For example, I feel sick today. Because of that, I cannot go to work. This, assuming that. In Tagalog, ipagpalagay natin na. For example, assuming that you study this semester. How are you going to pay for your tuition? Next is, as I have said, as I have noted, in Tagalog, kaya ng sinabi ko, or something na gusto mo lang ulitin. Or you just want to repeat what you have mentioned in your speech earlier. For example, as I have said, we are going to travel next year. Actually guys, there are a lot of transitional de devices that we use often. So, there are more words like certainly to emphasize something that is true. So, this is definitely, without a doubt, uh, surprisingly, uh, exactly. So, these words that ends with ly are used to emphasize your thoughts, your ideas. So, there are a lot of things that we can use. And I just want to give you some of the words that I know and I can translate in Tagalog because there are a lot of words that it's hard to explain in Tagalog and to translate in actual words in Tagalog. So yeah, I think I have to end this vlog but I hope you have learned a lot from me today and I'm deciding to make more videos about English, about the English language so I can share with you my knowledge regarding this one. So I think that's it. So just continue to like, share, and subscribe and turn on your post notifications for more upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching. See you again next time. Goodbye.